Hey everyone, uh, back here with another video. This is one that uh, I've been thinking about for the past week, just some uh, tips and uh, suggestions that uh, you might find useful uh, to maintaining your system and to um, keeping it sounding good. These are some stuff that I've been doing for years and years and years. Um, as you know, I can get a little tedious with my uh, being finicky and, and how uh, I like my system to sound and to keep it sounding good. Um, I guess we're, uh, we're all on a journey here trying to make our system sound good. So this is just from info I thought I would pass off to you uh, and hopefully um, you know, pass it on to others or suggest it to others or try it yourself. Um, anyways, I'll start back um, when I, uh, about, uh, I guess maybe about 25 years ago, um, I used to have a you know fairly nice system in that had some good cables and all that and um, it was a, a nice sounding system well I find you know after listening to it a while you get kind of bored of it and uh, you know it sounds a little dull sounding in that uh, and I was at the local audio shop which I usually shopped at and the owner there gave me a little packet of this stuff and it was called TPC which was the perfect Connect, connection I think it was called like that it was made by a company XLO and it was a little looked like a little wet nap package um, that you get at a restaurant or takeout and it was meant to open up and it was like a little cloth in there soaked with a solution and you would take your um, you know your connector say if you got uh, uh, you know a spade connector for your speaker cable or, uh, or something like that or maybe a you know banana and you were supposed to wipe wipe the ends with this and what it would do would clean off any tarnish or oxidization on your uh, ends of your cables so i thought oh, okay this is uh, something new so i took the packet and uh you know went around my system cleaned all the rca connect uh, cables the connectors uh cleaned the banana plugs and any connection that i could do using that little wet nap which it looked like um anyways it was some kind of a contact cleaner with a, a, a solution in there to give it more um, a better contact um, so anyways I listened to my system and wow it, everything kind of you know say cleaned everything up brightened up again it seemed like it refreshed it all and I thought well that, that kind of makes sense because after a while your all your connectors gold plated or nickel plated or silver plated they're gonna tarnish just like jewelry or anything else so I thought, well, I'm spending all the money on these cables and trying to get the best out of my system. And here I clean it with a little, I think it was like 250 or $3 little packet thing. And what a difference it made in the sound. I was like, okay, well, wow, the system sounds great again. So that's what uh, I'm gonna kind of talk about today. A little, little tips that can uh, help this. Now that little packet of TPC made by XLO, I don't think it's around anymore. I haven't seen it or had a package in, I would say maybe almost 20 years um, and if there is, is any around they're probably all dried up anyway so I'll show you what I use and this is something that I do um, I would say I try to do it at least every four months um, and just and, and do this but uh, you know sometimes you're a little lazy and it might be six months or um, you might be you know connecting up a, a new piece of equipment so then I then then is a the time to do it anyways even if it's uh, uh, you know it, it's just a perfect time so this is what I use which you've probably seen before on the market it's called uh, deoxit and this is uh, I think this is the fader f5 so this is meant for um, uh, pots and different things to clean it with and a lot of uh, repair shops will use this to clean you know receivers or audio equipment and uh, get all the crackles out of the switches and this is one that I use quite a bit it has like a little bit of a lubricant in it um, there also is another one here it's just called deoxid d5 and what this does you can spray a little bit out and it's it's great for a lot of things but what we're, what we're talking about today is uh, cleaning all your connections so you've got your um, spade here connection that will be on a speaker cable um, and then you have you know your your binding post here and where you want to clean is basically or you can see it in there but right in here where your spade's going to connect so you can clean this 
spray a little bit on and I usually take uh, a napkin or a piece of a napkin or, or it could be Kleenex or something that you have spray a bit on and then you clean it and you will actually see um, black stuff come off onto your thing and you, that's how you know it's oxidizing same with here you can spray a bit in there and 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 clean it in there or even in where the banana would go spray it and then what I usually do for that is I take it spray it in and then I'll take it right in there and then I twist it inside and then you'll pull it out and you'll actually see black on there and then same with your banana clean it with the deoxit and sometimes I even spray a little bit on there before I reattach it at the very end and that way it gives a, a good connection and, and a little bit of the deoxit there left in there to, to give a better contact anyways it would be the same with you know XLR you can see in there you spray all those little contacts and you don't need that much of it and you can what I do with these is I'll spray them then I connect them together a couple times and and work them in a little bit touching each other and then I might get a q-tip or even if I can get my paper towel and spray a little again in there again and connect it that will clean it and what that's going to do is it's going to create a really good contact I mean if you think about it we spend all our money on our gear uh, you know, amps, preamps, um, whether it be a CD player or a DAC, and there's all these connections in there, and we spend good money on cables as well. So, I mean, saying this, it's all great equipment, but and great cables that we use or whatever we have, but we're not, you know, every little connection counts, and, and we spend our money trying to make our system the best, so why not take it that little bit further and clean our connections regularly and, and that will get the best performance out of uh, our system. Uh, and, and in doing this, sometimes too, we wiggle our cables around a little bit, which, which can, uh, you know, change the sound. It kind of takes, might seem silly, but it takes time again to a little bit burn in that cable. A cable can be burnt in, but if you move the cables around or bend them a bit, it will, you know, affect the sound. It might take a couple hours or, you know, before it kind of sounds right again. You can test this at home if you want. Take one of your speaker cables, you know, for instance, I got a set of speakers here and listen to it, a track, and then take one of your speaker cables just on the one side and bend it around a little bit. And then you'll notice when you listen again that something sounds off on that speaker and it's because it's, you moved the cable, you've disturbed it a little bit. Um, I've come across this many times because I was, you know, hooking up systems and I might you know, wiggle, had to bend one cable around to, uh, you know, and moved it quite a bit. And I'm like, something sounds off. And then after a little while, you know, it, it kind of settles in again. And it might sound crazy, but if you can hear that difference, that little bit, I mean, it counts, right? So you won't think, okay, if maybe I, you know, if you, if you moved your cables around, oh, I don't like the sound of it now. Well, sometimes it's just because you disturb the cables. So anyways, uh, it's a really uh, you know good thing, good habit to get into this cleaning of the cables. I find it very beneficial, and I'm just trying to pass this on uh, to you guys, and maybe pass it on to other people, and, and maybe you'll make it a you know a, a practice of doing this and, and getting the best sound. Because sometimes we listen for a while our system, and we get a little bit bored of it, sounds a little dull, and maybe we want to try a different cable or try you know a new DAC, or we want to try a different amp or a different speaker. Well, this might be the first step is, hey, let's clean everything and, and see if I'm happy with the sound. And, you know, some days our ears can be a little plugged and, and uh, you know, a little wax build up or something in there that can affect the sound. So that could be, you know, the situation too. But every couple of months, I would suggest at least minimum of six months is cleaning all your cables. Um, even USB cables here, you can do the same thing. Um, you've got little pins in there. You can uh, look at them real close. I don't think the camera would pick it up because it's they're actually inside. And if you're using, you know, your laptop to your DAC or, or anything like that, it's, it's a good habit to, you know, clean that and uh, make sure there's a good, good connection because sometimes, uh, you know, just hooking up to a, a speaker uh, connector, you know, sometimes you, it's not a great connection. The, the, the plug that you have or the spade doesn't fit that tight. Well, using this will um, give you a better connection overall, which I think is a, 
very beneficial. Um, same with RCA connectors. Uh, you clean them the same way. This will be on the end of your, your uh, cable. You can spray a bit in there. You know, get your paper towel or whatever you got and go around it. And you'll notice some black stuff. Um, and then maybe, you know, always give it a little bit more spray, a little bit in there before you plug everything back in. Um, so I think this is a, you know, a good way to keep your system sounding good in those. Uh, and uh, uh, good tips here just for you vinyl lovers. Um, uh, you can do the same thing. Clean all your connections and your, your RCAs that go to your phono stage. Um, that's very important because there's such a small signal that comes from that, uh, you know, your, your needle, your cartridge that goes to your, you know, it's a very small. So you always want to keep um, the connections really good on that, um, on, your, on your turntable. And I have a little tip here just for cleaning your stylus and your diamond tip. Um, this is something that I found. Um, you can find this at your music store, you know, that sells guitars and etc. and drums. Well, this is a, a drum product and it's called Moon Gel. And what this is used for is, um, let's see if I can pull one out here. It's basically, it almost looks like jello. And there's a bunch of little ones in there. They're individual. Let's see if I can pull one off here. Yeah, there's one there. I've had this fun for quite a while. Well, there it is there. It is like a square, looks like jello. And what you put this on is on your drum skins to dampen it a little bit. And this dampens the drum from resonating or sometimes ringing. And uh, they're not that expensive. You get a little container with, I think there's five of them in there. Um, but what I use this for is cleaning your stylus and they do sell a similar product like this you can buy it's very expensive 40 or 50 dollars for a little a little thing but um, you can take one of these or you can leave it in the whole thing depending on your turntable setup uh, and you can take this whole section off or one and maybe put it on the lid and you can lie that on your turntable and drop your needle down onto it and what happens is this little gel in here will actually clean your stylus. You can look at it before and after with a little microscope, but it'll actually pull off any dirt. And what you do is you drop your arm down once, twice, or maybe even three times and just lift it out. And you don't want to move it to the side because you don't want to bend the cantilever. You just want to drop it and, and lift it up um, and that will clean it. What I've done here is I've taken a little, um, this is a, uh, a card, a little micro USB card, and I've put one of the squares in there so I can lie this right on my turntable, right on the platter, and I just drop it into that little section right here. So right here is the moon gel. And I mean, it's very inexpensive and a safe way to clean it. Um, I think this stuff, when I bought it, I mean, I've had this for a couple years now, but it is... I think I paid like six or seven, eight dollars for it. So it's under 10 bucks. And I mean, it'll last a long time. And I mean, if you're a drummer, you might have some of this lying around. And obviously you don't want to use ones that's probably, you know, been on drum skins or dirty. You want to use a clean one, obviously, to clean your uh, your stylus. So that's uh, another tip that I, um, you know, found that's great for cleaning. I tried other things like there's, uh, little Mr. Clean pads and different things and solutions, but I find that way, drop it down a couple times, the dirt's off it, and it's a good safe way to do it without damaging because, you know, one little wrong movement there on your stylus, you know, if you got an expensive stylus that you're gonna rather it be expensive or, or, or cheaper, you don't wanna ruin it and have to buy another one. So I find that a very good uh, technique to do it, uh, and it's very cheap too. So you'll find that at your, local music store uh, in the drum department. You just ask them for moon gel and uh, I'm sure there'll be somebody there to um, direct to that if you, if you wanna give that give that a try at uh, cleaning your, your, your stylus. I'd just like to thank everybody for watching this video. I tried to 
not make it uh, boring or, uh, or tedious or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, there's a lot of other little, you know, tweaks out there we could talk about, but I kind of just thought I would stick to something that I found really, really beneficial. There's many things out there that can help your system, system uh, from, you know, grounding to cable risers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I had one a friend that he, he was right into all the tweaks. I mean, he had, and I mean, it makes a huge difference. It's just, you have to have a lot of time to spend with it. He had all his speaker cables and every cable suspended from the ceiling and it was a uh, you know amazing thing that i seen but uh, there's a lot of stuff you can talk about there and it makes makes big effect on your system but i thought i'd stick to this so i hope you enjoyed it and uh i'm gonna have some more videos out there um maybe some more tips uh maybe some stuff on grounding but i'll i'll do those at a later date and we can you know have a little uh video on that but i thought i would just leave with this i tried not to make it too too long but uh you know it is it is what it is so i'd just like to thank everybody if you want to hit the subscribe uh down uh down below and you'll get my videos or you want to hit the, the like button thumbs up and i'd like to say just god bless everybody and have a amazing week have a fantastic week so thank you for watching this video